Hello so, again guys, welcome back to the channel. In this in this basic Figma tutorial, we'll show how to do an expansion card animation. So how do you expand like mobile cards or desktop cards or whatever card you want. So this is a fairly basic tutorial and the tutorial is just the final product we'll be doing is right there on the screen. And uh, yeah, we're going to explore first the basic concept of it so that you'll know what to do on it and again, apply it to a like a high fidelity mock-up just to see what we can do on uh, real life applications of this one. So let's get started. So first, we'll create a frame. This is a frame right now. And we'll have the penguin frame. So the first thing you want to know is you don't need to to make this an image. Not you don't need, but you don't you have to use mask actually. You have to use mask for this one. Because if you just use the image fill, I mean image fills can work, right? But you really have to use mask for this one to make it more controllable. And the motion twinning of it is much more smoother. Okay. So now we'll have a square there and let's just make it as a mask put it below the penguin guys and have a mask on it use mask there we go so the penguins are now mask now we're gonna have something below it so that when you expand when you expand on this one some info will pop up so this is the Penguins now. Let's see. This is the bull them as peng. And then I'll have another rectangle. About the same size of this one. So it's two three eight. Two three two eight. Okay. Three two eight. Middle there. And make it a little bit lighter. Like that and we'll go to Wikipedia and uh, see what's about penguins hmm. have a sex here so this is just the introduction text so There and have a right there eight scene. Then let's have an down arrow this one. So have a stroke of bit three, not inside the center. It's just white. Let's make it simple first. So we're just understanding the concept of this one. A bit like that, and let's drop some other penguins below. That's a lot. This guy? Oh, this guy. Let's label this one as Pang 2. So keep your layer names separate, like the grouping names, I mean group names separate, so that Figma won't be confused on what animation they will do, because they're targeting the layer names. 
group names, layer names, those things. It's figmas targeting. So this one and this one should be like different, different names. So now we're going to have the expansion here. So this guy will go down. First, we're going to group it again, I guess. This, this thing will be grouped. This one will go down here. And this thing will expand along with this thing. So we're going to expand it like that. About there. But make this things thing more like that. So we'll have more space for the info. I mean for this one, I need to group them. Control C G. That's a description. Place it below there. And We'll have like another description will appear on this one. Not that. I guess make this one opaque, a little bit opaque. 25. Or effectiveness. And this one is like that. So, what we want to do is not rotate this, okay? You don't want to rotate this because rotation does the motion training. So if you click on this, this will go down and it will rotate like that if you use rotation here. So we don't want to use rotation, but we want just to flip it, flip it. So we'll have, you can see here the rotation. If you do it like this, it will have a rotation like that, a 180 rotation. We're not going to use that. We're going to just flip this one. So we're going to flip this, right click, and flip it horizontally. Oh no, vertically, I mean. Right click, flip vertically, like that. So the rotation is not change. It's just, it just flips it. So this will like animate on a flipping motion like that, up, not on a rotating motion. Okay. So just to be clear about that. So the last animation is I'm gonna let this one appear. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and just make it about there and just hide it. I guess behind behind the image. Let's just paste it behind the image. There. And this thing should be under, under it, like that. So this one is like zero opacity. So let's start for animating this one just to check. So just one screen, two screen animation. So I'll tap on this card, I mean hold of the car card. So let's just group this, all of them. Group. Group. So same, it should be same. Group four. Group four and group four there. Let's just label it in card one. Card one, card one. This one's card two. Card two. Card two, there. Let's duplicate this a bit again so that I will not like fucked up in this one. Let's do this. So they're like the same layer or organized layers. I mean the organization of the layers. 
are the same. So we have this one down there, and this one's down here. Right click, flip vertical, and the things, the descriptions will be like 100 opacity, 50 opacity. Move like here. So let's play the animation. So the animation will be click on this card. So this card is like all the group and do it like that. And we'll have a smart animate of ease out. On top of this card, it will exam expand. Now let's play it. There's the animation. You can see the animation that the thing is flipping. It is not rotating. So if you do the rotation part, if we switch it into rotation, okay, let's flip this one again. If you switch this to rotation, like do 180 of it, it will look different. See, it will rotate like that. So the other one is this, like that. I like the flipping one than the, than the rotating one actually, because it is much more cool and fast, faster, faster animations like this one. Make it like 300 like that. It's much more snappier. Unlike the rotating one, let's switch again. It was like doing unnecessary movement on that one. So I don't like it. So yeah, that's the concept of it, right? That's the concept of it. Always use, always, what you call this? Mask the image first, then group them in a hard layer also. And if you want to do this, you can do two versions of it. like. I'm, oh, there's a the camera. <laughs> they can see the two versions of it, the rotating and the flipping. So if you want to rotate, just press R. If you want to flip it, just right click and flip vertical or horizontal or whatever orientation you want it to be flipped. Now, we're going to start applying this one to a semi high fidelity, high fidelity design. Okay, let me just open the Figma file. I already did it. So here is it. Here's like a semi semi high fidelity one. It's like a fitness app. So what we're gonna do here is when you click on this one, we'll have like the exercises we'll like be, we'll like be displaying. And then we'll click on this play button and the arrow will go down. Arrow will go down and see the description of the exercise. It's like, like a down arrow there. Description of exercise. So now we're just gonna duplicate this just to be sure. And like you can use this ones for references also. So now we'll have that. We're just gonna group these things. I mean, these, these guys will disappear actually. So I have this one, duplicate this one here. Oh, not this guy. This one, this guy will animate this. So for this guy, we'll animate this as uh, rectangle five, rectangle four, rectangle four. Okay. So this thing will disappear here above. Mm. Hmm. So this will just disappear on the side. This one will just disappear also. Oh no, we'll, we'll not focus on animating this on this screen. We'll just focus on the down screen. Mm -hmm. So we'll just group this one first so that it will not animate on this, on, the, on that part. So now, 
duplicate also this one. So we don't have to group these guys because they will just go down there. So uh, group that. Delete that first. So this one will just go down about there. And then these duders, this one. Copy this, paste it again here. Expand this until there. Make this one a little bit smaller. So I, so I can show, see the little feet there. And this one, move it together with this. Move them down there. And then just copy this and move this down here and see if it fits. So it's not fits. Oh, uh, we're gonna move this down a bit more. This one, expand it a little bit more. There. So now what we're gonna do is just rotate this one. So when it rotates, it will show this. Align this one on this side. There. And now there's a tr transition to this to this. Okay. So let's copy this one. Paste this on front. About there. And just make it like zero opacity. Just rename this. Hmm. So it will be zero opacity here and it will show here. So again, the images are mask. You can see it here. Group 18, the image and mask. It's not just the image. Okay. We use mask here to make it like smooth, more smooth. So 18, that's 18. And this is 18. Good. So let's just animate this one up there to here. We're not going to use Smart Animate, are we? We're just going to dissolve this one. Mm, no. We're just going to move it out. Move out. Yes. Yep. And this one will go here. Click it here, the card, and put it there. Have a smart animate there. And just let's make it lower so that you can see the animation and how it plays. So again, gonna click this. Goes there. We're gonna click on this one. Goes like that. Again, click this one. It goes like that. So that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this another basic Figma tutorial and and all the Figma files are in the description down below. So stay safe everyone and have a good one.